Well, we are leaving one beautiful island to go to another beautiful island. <laughs> we are going to the Cayman Islands today. And hopefully we catch ourselves a yellowfin tuna, maybe a bonefish, maybe a wahoo. I'm just sitting here contemplating because I am 100% certain that I am forgetting something. I think I'm good. All right, let's hit it. Two years ago, John invited me to the Cayman Islands to stay with his family, and we were gonna do a sword fishing tournament, which I was super stoked about. That, yeah, that was like two and a half years ago, then COVID hit, and all the travel restrictions happened, and I wasn't able to get up on that trip, which was super unfortunate, but it's finally time for redemption. John hit me up and was like, you wanna try to make this trip happen again? So here I am. Flights booked, flights in uh, two and a half hours. So I'm driving up to Miami. It's a one and a half hour flight to the Cayman Islands. So real quick flight. It's gonna be a totally different type of fishing. Can't wait. Look at this truck in front of me. That's a Ford, but it's lowered. It's a low rider. Can someone explain that to me? Why you would lower a truck? I, I always thought it was the higher up you are the better because then you can run over stuff We have arrived Made it to the Cayman and the first stop is this is uh, Foster's which is basically their version of their grocery store but let's go get some food first. Okay, we're back from the grocery store. If you're interested, what I got. Pretty simple, couple of things of milk. This right here is how you get big. I also brought some protein powder from back from Florida, which I'll be using at the milk. Gotta get them vitamins, got the juice. Lots of tuna, beef jerky, some German sausage, which I'm going to have as a dessert. Bananas, assortment of nuts, that's my other dessert. More dessert, some chocolate milk. And then a final dessert, some chocolate granola. And look at this place. This is where I'm gonna be sleeping for the next uh, six nights. And I gotta say, it's really nice. Got a big old bed and look at this view. So we are actually on the water. I'm on the side of the house right now, but the boat is right there on the dock. And we just go right out here and you'll go about a mile this way and it goes from 100 feet down to like 1500, 1700 feet. So there's a huge ledge and that's where all the tuna are. And we're gonna go look for those tuna. If you're wondering where we're at, we are on the west end of the Grand Cayman Island, right in this area. And we're only about 15 minutes away from the airport. You know what, after working for a few hours, I decided I'm gonna go check out the beach. So we're here at the Ritz. Check it out. We are 
we're going to do some diving. Nice, you got a proper amount of rod holders on this boat. Yes. No short. No. That's perfect. Yeah, my boat's got like 32 and I'm still like, I need more. <laughs> yeah, no, we have more than enough on here. On the water and we are out here with Pierre and Sean. How's it going guys? And uh, this guy's gonna be our captain today and he's gonna be taking us fishing for the next couple of days and we're gonna start it off with some diving and uh, what can we expect out there? So uh, we're out here on the, the north wall out here in Grand Cayman. Um, so beautiful conditions today, beautiful vez, flat calm. Uh, hopefully you see some lots of big snappers, big groupers, some eagle rays, maybe some sharks, hopefully. Um, and we're cruising along the drop off, like 75, 80 feet, just having a good time. I'm just gonna be following them around so I don't get lost out there. I heard there's a big drop off. Drops from about uh, 60 feet, pretty much straight down to about a thousand right here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going deep, let's go. Lean on back, yeah, just let your legs go free and lean back. back at John's house just got back from the dive and two things that happened to me uh, I shot that lionfish and when you shoot them with those like barbless tips you're not supposed to pull back because I just pulled the shaft right out of that uh, lionfish and he took off and the other thing was I took this GoPro down with me but it's not in a case it's just like in this uh, it's in an open case, so you can take it right out. And what happened was, as we went down, the pressure caused the record button to get stuck, and it wouldn't, when I was pushing it, it wasn't recording, so I couldn't get any like really close up, cool footage of the corals and all the reef fish. Dang it! That's a little unfortunate. My bad, both parts. But I learned, next time I'm gonna make sure that's in an underwater housing, next time I go diving. Thanks for watching. It'd be super cool if you check out some more of my videos. Cheers.